Many people collecting coins, collecting playing cards, shot glasses too. Yeah, but a Jacksonville man, he collects rare postcards of the First Coast. It's pretty cool. Now, some of them are hundreds of years old and worth some serious cash. So Alex Ositas takes a look at some of those and what they could be worth. Greetings from Jacksonville, Florida. That iconic postcard image, a much different skyline than what we see here in downtown today, but it is one man's collection of five by four inch postcards and the history behind them that he says he wants to keep alive. Here's like an image, a panoramic shot of downtown with the riverfront. A collection Andrew Bachman has compiled over 25 years. He says there's nearly 5,000 so, postcards here, almost all of them. The theme, Jacksonville or the First Coast. What better way to give them something tangible that they can hold on to and say, hey, you should check out this restaurant, go, go to this place. Rare cards that cost hundreds of dollars and some that were printed over 100 years ago. Pretty cool with the trolleys going down. Here in San Marco, those trolley tracks replaced with another vehicle link, but the South Jacksonville City Hall still standing today. Other sites, not so lucky. An alligator slide attraction in an ostrich racing farm, all gone. I'm always uncovering cards I haven't seen before. I'm scrolling through eBay, antique shops, um, going to postcard conventions. Showing off places that have long since changed, like NAS Jacks or days before the landing. Then there's this card of the old Elks Club in downtown on Laura and Adams Street. Today, it's in the thick of things still, but now with an updated look. Bachman says while he won't put a stamp on the ones behind plastic, he and his family do send postcards for posterity's sake. Imagine when you're like 70 or 80 years old and you're going through and you wrote down what you did. Right now, Bachman is working to publish a second book of postcard pictures, new images he hopes will inspire Jacksonville residents to learn a little bit more about the city's history. Alex Ositis, First Coast News, on your side.